Hi friends welcome to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and share and also please don't forget to like it would surely help our channel happy watching. Speak one more word princess and remember our country is different from yours be cautious with your words and actions. He warned what do you think of me? Some people are careless while others will take your words seriously Xin Yong is only 15 years old I'm not flirting with him you are right she exclaimed you please wait do I need to frame these books she asked holding a stack of texts virtue he muttered under his breath do you still want to test me she challenged these books are renowned for their narrative style you shouldn't fear those unfair stories no he replied help yourself I know, I know you didn't want to cause me trouble, he sighed quick sinction she gasped regarding the entrance standards of your academy, do they really require a vote from the partners? How do they vote? Do they send a portrait to your partners for a quick judgment? Yes, he confirmed, with a weary tone here we go again actually, I make the final decision didn't I just hedge, like you they haven't seen a portrait of you oh no. There is no portrait he realized suddenly what have you said and done in the past, were they decent? It has nothing to do with the academy she defended lord, that is a decent academy he shouted oh, decent, he replied, calming down I promise that you are the only person with whom I've done all the indecent things I don't care, she retorted oh you really cared at first he remembered wait at first in Xiaozu kingdom, we use this as a token of affection lock the people you like and it's done each lock has only one key I know what I forgot I'd rather forget it Xinqing owns thousands of anklets it's really not noteworthy she concluded with a sigh. Let me explain it's not an excuse what's your excuse? Princess, you've had a long day I won't bother you anymore you have plenty of time to explain later are you okay, princess? I believe in retribution I played with his feelings before and now I'm facing the consequences what should we do now? I think I should make the first move I must not get used to this I thought he wanted to be responsible for me but he wanted me to be responsible for him why does he think that way? A powerful man like Lord Shao can't accept being teased by you. Why don't you let him tease you once? That's too hard then go to plan B princess, you're not married, and you said you only had a romantic relationship with Lord Shao why not try to make amends? Yes describe your feelings for him back then sincerely and emotionally talk about how sad and lonely you were after he left and how much you miss him Lord Shao's bad impression of you is mostly based on rumors I in you an academy has been misunderstood, and you don't admit it it was him who listened to others and left you it's his fault stand firm, take the high ground, and complain about him being wrong Lord Shao wanted you to explain? Do it this way say you've moved on and hope he puts national affairs first since you've already offended him once, maybe it's worth taking more drastic measures to reverse the situation there is some truth in that, but wouldn't that make things worse? Certainly here's an improved version of your text after inquiring, I found that Lord Shao, despite his serious demeanor and apparent lack of humor, actually upholds a policy of reconciliation. Unlike the current emperor of day he appoints talented individuals even if they have disagreements with him he can engage in cheerful conversations and shake hands with his political adversaries, demonstrating his generosity and ability to separate public from private matters he seldom criticizes excessively and has remained chaste, never marrying or getting engaged perhaps he still has feelings for you moreover, despite Xiaozu's lesser power compared today. Cross-border marriages are not uncommon as a princess of Xiaozu, even if you make a mistake, he wouldn't treat you harshly you are right I'm a princess what can he do to me? Since we have come today, we cannot return empty handed I want you to copy the anklet just in case in two days, if he does not come to me, I will go to him I will try to appeal to his emotions in a more eloquent and culturally appropriate manner do you remember its style? I will try was it like this? Maybe? Princess. Are you sure? Well, I think it was a regular style I purchased that anklet on a whim from a roadside store alright, princess, were there any other actions or incidents that might have bothered him at that time? I guess not I suspect that plan B may not work come on I must be brave he wouldn't easily agree to trade matters between the two countries, and he might obstruct me I can't escape it, you know I will have a sincere conversation with him. 
ensuring that he doesn't hold a grudge over past events wait for my good news witness how I endeavor to regain his favor again, is Lord Shao really a magnanimous man? Princess, why do you give up so soon? Your kindness has been a constant source of solace for me in recent days, despite the absence of tasks, my mind has been far from idle inspired by my thoughts, I drafted a proposal to highlight the benefits of establishing trade between our countries Xiaozu may be small, but our people are affluent and ardently follow the fashion trends of day, wielding considerable purchasing power conversely, day often faces shortages of medicinal herbs and leather goods driving prices sky hikes Xiaozu could efficiently bridge this gap however, my attempts to convey this have been met with indifference after days of contemplation, I have summoned the courage to speak to you, to unravel the past and clear the air when we first met in Luking. I intended to recruit you as a teacher for our academy the noble ladies in Xiaozu's capital are often restless, struggling to focus on their studies and frequently entangled in unnecessary conflicts I thought having handsome male teachers might encourage them to be more dedicated but as time passed, my feelings evolved I didn't just want you as a teacher I wanted you as my boyfriend initially drawn by your appearance, I was soon captivated by your intelligence my words, then and now, were meant solely for you. From the depths of my heart I never anticipated that you would misunderstand me so deeply your departure left me shattered yes, I was devastated I couldn't eat or think straight, prompting my father to consult renowned physicians, fearing I was ill it was then I realized it was a profound yearning for you I have remained unmarried because of you, rejecting countless suitors chosen by my father my heart was set I would marry no one but you. And now. I must ask if I were to propose marriage, would you accept without hesitation? It may seem hasty, but my feelings are genuine could you see us together, Lord Shao? Is it possible for us to unite not just in trade, but in life? You fall sick and feel agonizing pain because of your longing for me, but I fail to recognize your sincerity. Exactly truly brilliant, immediately grasping what I intended to convey so you mean, I was the one who played with your feeling no it was indeed the whims of fate, and my youthful ignorance of the cultural differences between our countries that caused misunderstandings the past is long gone, but if you still feel guilty, there's no need for you to compensate me through marriage don't want you to marry me out of guilt all I ask is for your support regarding my proposal for bilateral trade are you trying to does he? Trust me? Lay the victim? You had abandoned me, now you question my love for you? You speak of sincere love for me, and yet you dismiss it so casually? Now that you forgot did say that I wanted to practice and have a handwriting similar to his calligraphy guide me in practicing calligraphy why your calligraphy is as stunning as a piece of art and what's more, similar handwriting between lovers fosters intimacy aspire to write as beautifully as you do kiss cause I am yours, to teach me, will you?